Oh man, and we just love him right here on your feel good breakfast show. The one and only Rob van Vieren, man. Come on! Come on! Dude, it's so good to have you, man. Listen, you've got so many things under your belt already. Let me just run you through multi award winning stand up comedian, uh, theater director, producer, actor, playwright, MC. And the list goes on, dude. It does. And just a nice guy. Carry on with well. the list, you. I know, we'll stop with the list, Carry man. We on. want to talk to you as well. <laughs> Listen, man, good to have you, brother. Yeah, we've missed you around here. Um, we spoke about your new film. We're going to get into that in more detail a little bit later on this morning. Funna matter, but it looks hilarious, dude. It, it looks is. hilarious. It is. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm glad to see your hair grew back. Yeah. Okay, that's amazing. Yeah, it looked a bit weird, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, besides besides the movie, you've been busy. What have you been up to? Because the first thing you said to me this morning was like, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> I don't know how you guys do this. Uh, I've, I was gigging last night at Cape Town Comedy Club, so I'm still in that mode. Um, yeah. I've had a very, very busy year. I've, I went to the UK recently. I did the Brighton Fringe Festival, okay. uh, where I won an award to take one of uh, one of my shows there, uh, Dangled, which has been kind of touring nationally and, and internationally, getting five-star reviews from international press, which is really amazing. Also did some stand-up comedy there while, while I was there in London as well. Uh, I'm probably going back in late September sure. to do some more stuff there. I came back to the National Arts Festival, uh, I've got a kids book uh, that I wrote with my wife I that's heard. doing really well that's called cool, Fancy Watson and the Sugarbush Mouse. It's in bookstores nationwide. Uh, <laughs> just, what else have I done? Uh, <laughs> you've been on holiday. You've been on holiday. Tell me you've been on holiday at least. No, uh, I had a short break after the, with the, family. the festival. Okay. A couple of days in, in Plet, which was really nice. Okay. Um, we just had a, like a week to, to find some, uh, some downtime. Uh, but it was, uh, Grahamson was so hectic that it, yeah. it, it just felt like, it almost felt like a hospital. It was like a recovery <laughs> time. Uh, but now back to the grindstone, we're working. We're oh, working. that's cool, man. Well, it's good to have you. And I'm so, I'm, I'm so looking forward to, to hear more about this movie, man, because I read this article in the in-flight magazine on the way back to Cape Town where you actually, you as Rob, interviewed Fana Madhava yourself. Yes. And that was, that was hilarious, man. <laughs> but, I mean, you know, why, just quickly, I mean, just to give us a quick round before we chat, why this character? Why did you decide to play Fana Madhava? Um, Who's a legend, by the way. Well, I, I think <laughs> I decided to play it because the director and screenwriter, Bruce Lawley, gave me the opportunity to do it. He was, I was like, please can I play Van? And he was like, yes. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't want to play Van? He's, he is an Dude. iconic South African character. Yeah. We all know and love him. He's kind of a, an everyman. He's the, he's the butt of every joke. Um, he's a real clown, but with a golden heart. Yeah. Uh, and I was I was thrilled to have the opportunity to yeah. to bring him to life on screen. And and from what we've seen, you did it so well. I mean, you, you are you are incredibly talented. And and you were, and I must say, like within South Africa, I mean, the pool of um, comedy personalities is incredible. We just saw a clip now of Trevor Noah in the entertainment news as well. And I mean, what do you make of it? The South African comedy standard, because in my opinion, it is fantastic. It's it's world class, and it's um, what's really exciting is that there's more and more um, focus being brought into uh, South African and African comedy in general. Uh, a guy like Trevor is just blowing up. He's done so 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 well in like what's got to be the toughest job in TV in the world. Yeah. Um, and uh, the result of that is just more and more attention is coming our way. Uh, Lois Ogola is doing incredible work internationally at the yeah. moment. He's relocated to London. He's uh, playing festivals all around the world, selling out the toughest, biggest rooms well, dude, everywhere. Let, let me tell you, we are glad that you are still here with us because you're you. also doing amazing. It's my feel-good show.